I was quoted $6,000 to replace the flooring in my bedroom, so I decided to do it myself instead. And here's every single step that I took to get this job done. First, I needed to remove the baseboards, so I scored the caulking on the top of them, used my pry bar to pull them off. Then we removed all of the carpet in the room, and I removed the tracks and the staples that were holding the carpeting in place. And then I had to clean up all of that mess that I made doing all the demo. Next, we had to level our floors with some self-leveler, and to do that, you need to prime, and then we use this trick with a screw and a level to make sure that we knew the height we had to pour that self-leveler down to. Once that was all poured, we smoothed it out and let it dry overnight. Then I threw down the underlayment and got started on my first row of the flooring. I had to make sure that I used spacers here. I did about a quarter of an inch. The floorboards snap together like puzzle pieces and are pretty easy to install. You just want to make sure you grab one of these installation toolkits that includes a mallet and then this other metal piece that you use to slam them together and create a really tight fit throughout the room. And then for tricky areas like around this beam, I like to use my jigsaw. I also like to use my multi-tool to undercut my door frames. Then I finished installing the rest of the floorboards and I got onto my baseboards. I painted them first. Then I made my measurements and cut my baseboards to size. I used miter joints in this room. To fasten them to the walls, you use a stud finder and just shoot nails right where those studs are. Then fill the nail holes, caulk your creases, and make your paint touch up. These floors turned out beautifully. Check out my caption for the flooring and products that I used and make sure you follow for more DIY tips.